Oh, I have to admit to being disappointed. I was kind of think I was thinking that was a different uh, story. How it was uh, kind of reminded me actually of of colors from from was it colors from space. It's an H.P. Lovecraft story, and I can't remember which one it is. Who cares? Back to the game. So colors out of space. So that's what it is. I'm not trusting this. God, I, yeah. Thankfully, I saved about a minute ago. So, take, take, take. Okay, that's all you do. Is take, take. Okay. Fuck you, spiders. Nope, you can't leave your zone. Yeah, see that? Stay there. So the bane of my existence is just any creature in a video game smaller than my own character. Tap, man. Damn, they should have put a run button in this game. They did in the 3DO one, but the emulator is so whack, the audio is so screwed up. Alright, yeah, this is a little bit tricky. Get out of the menu. Okay. Alright, see the intent. There's a Indian on the other side, a picture, and he shoots at you. So, and you have to kill him with a bow. So yeah, it's this is not easy. Oh, never mind. I got a, like a strike straight down the middle, and then this guy will throw an axe. So you have to cover him up. Victor! Thankfully, none of these other paintings try to kill you. Although it'd be kind of funny if they did have you have to just, like go through there in a certain way to escape death. In pastels. I would just chill out here because these poor monsters that can't go into loading zones. You're safe. Dude, don't do that. Yeah, I think this is made from polygons, so... Yeah, and, and it's like, that's a funny thing, is that Resident Evil wasn't even able to really overcome it due to the limitations of the PlayStation hardware, probably mostly shading, that, you know, with polygon objects, obviously. This is actually a problem that goes way back to film, because if you'll notice that, uh, like, Looney Tunes and whatnot have, uh, in different cells, or, or layers, whatever you want to call them, that they'll be objects that'll be moving in the scene will be slightly discolored. It's it's somewhat similar concept. The Creatures of Night by Hubertus the Bald, translated from Latin by his brother in prayer, Fratre Johann Marcus. Of monstrosity. You who read me know that night engenders monsters and that night creatures exist. The accursed book of Abdul al-Hazred is clear on this matter. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Unhappy he who knows that book. Oh, and the H.P. Lovecraft reference is secure. Unhappy he whose eyes alight upon that foulest of texts. Unhappy he who implores the standing stones, for he will free the powers of darkness. Of the pit, stagnant waters are like the memory of men. Beneath the surface calm, clawed beasts await and are known to initiates as the deep ones. Awaiting his prey, the Deep One seizes him and drags him down to the abyss. 
where Dagon, the cruel god, swims and reveres him whose name may not be pronounced. Of libraries, unhappy he who frees the prowler, unhappy he who meets the prowler erring among the books. He generates the vagabond that comes from other spheres. He believes the vagabond does not exist. And this part actually sucks. There is a creature in the library, and you have to... Since the, the books themselves aren't actually polygons, you have to kind of guess as to what book you need, and so you have to hunt around the library while this thing is chasing you. He will feel the embrace of death, for in the eyes of the vagabond, books are no more than dreams, stone no more than wind. The vagabond knows how to take the breath of the reckless. Yeah, and um, by the way, that the previous unnamed god is uh, Cthulhu. Cthulhu, that's right. It's another HP, HP Lovecraft reference. And here he's, from what you gather, I would guess, is the stone is no more than wind. Is the, uh, he can pass through objects, which he does, and he sucks. Of strife. Of he verbosity. He speaks, does not know and believes he is able to kill the creatures of the night. Folly. Evil is conjured up by science and secrecy. Oh, yeah, that's where the audio ends, apparently. He who prowls among books will perish by the blade. <laughs> he who flies in the dark caverns will scream in fear. He who swims in the depths will evaporate, but he who believes he knows, knows nothing. He who knows, says nothing. Okay, I guess the audio got cut off weird. Of death. There are domains more terrible than death. That is not dead yeah, with an text. eternal lie. Each creature is conjured up and is not dead, but returns to the origins. A monster, a science. Steel kills the vagabond who never dies. Hmm. Translator's note. Here ends the manuscript of Hubertus who died in the library of the convent of Teruella in the year of our Lord, 1666. <laughs> Requiescat in pace. Steel. So, wait, the thing can be actually be killed? Oh, that's weird, because I don't know anything about that. Anyway, back to some actual action. Oh, yeah. I'm going to write a segue around this house. throat. Damn it! There's actually some more ammo in there, but yeah, I'm not gonna fight that creature with two hit points left. Can I open this yet? It's locked. Alright, I'm gonna save. Okay, trying to load up a sword. Let's have a look around. We got some foods. Food stuffs. Oh no. No, 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 no one likes you. No one. I'm gonna go over here to this corner and I'm just gonna drop everything that I don't need. Which includes these arrows. Actually, I think I can still use them, and I do, if I recall correctly, that they put out a tremendous amount of damage. I don't really. I don't even know why I had this still with me. Because I picked it up in desperation during that fight. No, it stays in your hand. The blaze but falls to the ground. Okay. 
Okay, well, at the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and dump this crap, and then I'll be right back.